Hello, welcome to this lesson of Mastering Fifth Grade Math. We will then now be doing word problems where we're dividing mixed numbers by other mixed numbers. Same process applies, we're going to read the problem, understand it, and solve it using the skills that we have. So the first question is, a large sandwich has, or is, two and a half feet long. It is cut into pieces one and a fourth feet long. How many pieces do I have? So again, it doesn't tell you that you're dividing, but you know that because the sandwich is two and a half feet long and it's cut into pieces a certain length, and so you know that you're dividing that length up and you're trying to figure out how many do you have. So in this case, we start with two and a half and we're dividing it up into pieces that are one and one fourth. So this is something we know how to do. The first thing we do is we change these to improper fractions. Two times two is four, plus one is five and you write it over two. Keep the division symbol. This becomes one times four is four, plus one is five, over four, like this. And now, you change the uh, multiplication to division. So you have five halves, I'm sorry, you change division to multiplication, then you flip this over, which is how we've been doing all of our problems. And finally, you can do the calculation. Five times four is 20, and then over here, two times five is 10. So that is the answer, but then you realize, hey, I can simplify this. 20 over 10 is the same as 20 divided by 10, which is two, and it goes a whole number of times. So what this is saying is if I actually did have a sandwich two and a half feet long, and I was trying to cut it into pieces one and a fourth feet long, then if I did that, I would measure the first piece one and a fourth, and then I would measure the next piece one and a fourth, and I would be done. I would have exactly two pieces with nothing left over. That's what this is telling you. All right, so the next problem, which is our last problem, it says a board is five and a half feet long in length, and I cut it into pieces one and one third long. How many pieces do I have? So it's a similar kind of problem. I have a board five and a half feet long, five and a half feet long, and I cut it into pieces one and one third uh, feet long. How many pieces do I have? In this, in this case, we're not gonna get a whole number, I can guarantee you that. I can't tell by looking at it, but I'm just kind of giving you a little hint here. Two times five is 10, plus one is 11, and we write it over two because of this. We keep the division, and this will become three times one is three, plus one is four, over three, like this. Now we change this to multiplication. 11 over two times, we flip this over three fourths, like that. All right, so then we can now do the multiplication on the top. 11 times three is 33, and on the bottom, two times four is eight. So that is the answer, but it's improper, so let's convert it. 8 times 2 is 16, 8 times 3 is 24, 8 times 4 is 32. So this can go 4 times, 32 and 33. The difference is just a remainder of 1 over 8. So the answer is 4 and an eighth. So what this means is, in this problem, if I start with a board that's 5 and a half feet long, and I'm cutting it into pieces that's 1 and a third feet long, I'll cut my first one and one third piece, and then I'll cut my next one and one third piece, and then my next one and one third, my next one and one third. What'll end up happening is I'll have four complete pieces that are one and one third feet long, but then I'll have some leftover board. I will have one eighth of, of a piece that I'm trying to cut. I'll have a little bit left over. So I can't quite uh, have five pieces that are this length. I just have four and an eighth, four and a little bit more. That's what that means. So make sure you understand this and do the worksheets associated with it. And that concludes this course in Mastering Fifth Grade Math when we're multiplying and dividing fractions. We've covered a tremendous amount of material, learning how to handle uh, multiplying fractions, multiplying mixed